And here's your host, Les Gawson. A new disc with us. <laughs> oh, please. No, don't clap, it's too late to make friends. <laughs> I'm not going to insult our panel tonight. I'm not going to say they're rotten. I'm just going to simply introduce them. Mr. Frankie, leave him alone, Vaughan. <laughs> the Wendy Isle of Underfelt, Richards. <laughs> Bruno, I'll get an audience one day. Brooks! <laughs> Never go to loaf. Tina Baker! <laughs> comedians come and comedians go. Don't up to this one. <laughs> we have Bernie Winters! I'll wear anything and defy the wardrobe. Power! <laughs> oh, it's so marvellous to have an audience like you tonight. Last week was dreadful. <laughs> now then... <laughs> Let's meet the idiotless people <laughs> who come on the show to win major prizes. Something out of Hornblower. <laughs> Sam Giram. With a name like Giram, let's hope she's never a damson in distress. <laughs> damson Giram. Jam. <laughs> you come from Beedale in Yorkshire. Yeah. And for the benefit of those who live south of Watford, Yorkshire is a great lump of land which keeps the its sole purpose in life is to keep the wind off Lancashire. <laughs> <laughs> you have your own hairdressing salon called Headquarters. Right? It's not always an easy job, hairdressing. Sometimes it can be damn rough. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a hairdresser who fell in a vat of hair gel. They pulled her out before she drowned, but she's all right now. She's set for life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just what is a joke? <laughs> <laughs> now, it says here that you like to read in the bath. <laughs> yes. Do you really? <laughs> and your favourite author is Jack Cousy? <laughs> Roy, do who does it remind you of? Um, uh, Alan Mo Wicker. Alan Wicker, yeah. Yeah, doesn't yeah. it? Roy Pearson, from Good Alming in Posh Old Surrey. That's correct. The country, country show. I met a woman from Surrey once, she said, my cat is very clean. If it is anything rather naughty in the garden, it fills the hole in straight away. I said, oh, cats do that. She said, what, with a shovel? <laughs> <laughs> You've now retired, Roy, and you're enjoying it. Very much, very much. You've got plenty of hobbies, aircraft model making, gardening. Are you good at gardening? Yes, very good. Well, my garden this year is a blaze of colour. Dirty brown. Dirty brown. <laughs> you and your wife, Nancy, have celebrated your ruby wedding anniversary. That's correct. How many years is that, ruby? Forty years. Last January. Forty years. Forty years. Yes. You don't get that from triple manslaughter, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and you have two sons and six grandchildren. Six grandchildren. Yes. Oh, yes. I bet they're all diamonds, aren't they? Can I say hello, grandchildren? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> what we can do, what we can do, Roy. Yes. Sam is going with the shot. Now, ladies first. Right. Now, just take your time and don't be nervous. Because with the greatest will in the world, the beauty of this show is the pen is worth winning. <laughs> the clues are somewhere in this massive ridicule, right? <laughs> we couldn't make our four-year-old understand why our mongrel dog couldn't be entered for Crufts. He has a head like a poodle, tail like an Afghan, and short hairy legs like a blank. We couldn't make our four-year-old understand why our mongrel dog <laughs> couldn't be entered for Crufts. 
He has a head like a poodle, a tail like an afghan, and short hairy legs like a blank. It's so obvious, this one. It hurts. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely suit, that. <coughs> Hope it doesn't fade. <laughs> Pressure lights. Now, Sam, take your time. Because we've got some beautiful prizes, kid. Okay. <laughs> we couldn't make our four-year-old understand why our mongrel dog couldn't be entered for Crufts. He has a head like a poodle, tail like an afghan, and short hairy legs like a blank. Dash hound. Dash hound. Dash hound, you must just good, yeah. And Frank. Oh, dear me. We have Dash hound. Oh, dear friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, Frank. <laughs> Frank is doing very well at present. <laughs> Wendy? Well, I thought the same as Frankie, cos I wrote Ernie Wise, but then I wrote Jack Russell as well. <laughs> Isn't it nice how you can get both wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Bruno? Well, I think I've got the, the English spelling for Dutch. Yeah, that's it, good, yeah. yeah. You know, for me, seeing my love? It's spelt wrongly. Actually, but... it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the spelling. The literacy on the increase is getting popular. Bernie? I, I knew how to spell it, but I copied yours, Did didn't I? <laughs> so I spelt it like her. It doesn't matter. All right. Proud of you. You survived a lot of things. That, Pamela? I put a whip it and then I realised it. Oh, she, saw, she spelled that wrong. <laughs> There's no H in whip it and it's three P's. <laughs> Well, what a good start, Sam. <laughs> da -da -dan -da -dan. Roy, we go over swiftly to you now. And you look very elegant. You're like a Custer survivor. Are you ready? <laughs> my family are as blind as bats. My wife and I wear glasses, but my grandma uses blank or blanks. My family are as blind as bats. My wife and I wear glasses, but my grandma uses blank or blanks. Now, remember, the clue is in the question. I can't spell what I want to write down. Sorry. That's OK. Can, I, can you help me? I'd help you any time, Bernie. <laughs> I would, honestly. If you want to get out of the business, just ask me. <laughs> right. Lights on now. Roy, don't take this lightheartedly. This is a serious show. My, f <laughs> my family are as blind as bats. My wife and I wear glasses, but my grandma uses blank or blanks. Radar. <laughs> radar. You're going for radar. I'm going for radar. <laughs> okay, Roy. If you want radar, you've got, I've it. got it. <laughs> hey, no skin off my nose, Roy. <laughs> You see? But never mind, because <laughs> when you'll get us out of trouble, radar. What? <laughs> what right? Pen now. It's pense nez. Pense no. Ooh. What are you on about? It's not spelt like that. That's like a complaint in the gold bladder. <laughs> you know? Well, my, my grandma isn't laser blind, but she'd certainly need a pair well, of binoculars. Well, that's what I would have said. I would have said binoculars, but never mind. Ray, that was... Listen, Roy, it's OK by me. <laughs> up and down, I walk up and down. <laughs> now, Tina... Hey, radar. Well, I put contact lens and I thought she's old, so she can't... I wasn't cheating. She was. I wasn't. She has cheated. <laughs> oh, yes, you <laughs> Bernie? No. Um, unfortunately, I was going to say binoculars. I'd rather not show it to you if you no, don't. No, please, please show it. <laughs> well, if it's all the same to you, we're old friends, and I, I don't mind are. you saying nothing. Bernie, I don't care. Will you? Well, it, there you <laughs> <are>. <laughs> Never mind, Bernie, you were off. Pamela? Jam <laughs> jar bottoms. Jam jar bottoms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> well, never mind, Roy. You go, no, you stay where you are. You're doing very well, I think. 